Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for June 30th, 2020. So let's see what we have going on for today. Okay. Our card is, ooh, what did we have a couple of days ago? We had gray a couple of days ago. So I batch film the dailies. Of course I do, because I'm not going to sit down in front of my camera and put makeup on for two minutes. You kidding me? <laughs> this was from a couple of days ago. This was gray. Scan your body. And then today we have silver. Be persistent. The number is 27. Reduces to nine. Didn't we have nine yesterday? Is my hair hitting the mic? My hair's getting long. I got to get used to it. Yeah. So this is from, I think, yesterday. So number nine there. We have a number nine here. Don't give up. Do not give in to this feeling, right? So feelings are very important. Don't give in to this feeling that, oh, everything's a mess and I, you know, what's the point? The point is, is that you take breath by breath by breath. One heartbeat and then the next and then the next. When you feel like, what is the point? I should give up entirely, God forbid, or I should give up my career I should give up this partnership you know if it's if it is a toxic situation then yeah you can change it you can take a rest but you don't need to completely undo your life right or they're saying don't fall down or if you do fall you know give yourself a breath get back up get back up because here's the thing the reason why we get so terrified and, and we want to like just give in is because we are pressuring ourselves with expectations. The universe is not going to turn its back on you. Okay. It's not going to do that. If you can make room for the universe to come in and show you what's possible, right? Have an open mind, have an open heart. Who knows? By tomorrow, you could be on a completely new pathway. You know, there was a time in my life where I felt completely hopeless and I really, I just kept pushing and pushing because we get taught that be persistent means pushing. And so I did. And I kept pushing and pushing and pushing to craft my life, to make it all fit back together. And then one day I just thought, you know what? My sanity and my happiness is more valuable than a stupid plan that may not even come to fruition. So today I'm going to relax my heart. Today I'm going to go into the sunshine. Today I'm going to spend time with my loved ones. I'm just going to let myself be. As soon as I did that, I remember I had walked out onto a porch. I was coming out of a house. I was standing on a porch and the sun was shining and I took a deep breath in and I just exhaled and I thought, I felt it. I thought and then felt, it's going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay. Whatever needs to be will be. I kid you not, <laughs> my cell phone rang and it was someone telling me, hey, so-and-so has a solution possibly to this thing that you're going through. And it ended up being the solution. When we are trained to think that being persistent has to do with controlling, shoving, making stuff happen, because we honor that in our society, don't we? We end up not getting what we want. Or you might get what you want or what you thought you wanted and it's not, it's not making you happy, right? Where can you be more in the flow? Where can you offer more trust to the universe and work with that energy to draw in beautiful experiences and beautiful moments of self-expression? And that means how you show up in life. It doesn't even have to be like, oh, this book I'm writing or a song I'm writing, but how do you show up and just be you? All right? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.